Twitter's board of directors decided on Monday afternoon to accept Elon Musk's takeover bid, indicating that the company believes it would be better served under his ownership. Welcome to First Class Tech, and in this video, we'll see Twitter deal updates and what new features the company is working on. According to sources, Twitter is working on a number of new features, including the ability to attach photos and videos to the same tweet. The list of upcoming features includes both new features like mixed media tweets and updates on previously reported features like statuses. Currently, you can attach up to four pictures or one video in the same tweet, but not both a still image and a video, according to developer Dylan Russell. Sources also discover the option to award tweets. The award feature appears below a tweet as a gift icon, next to the retweet, like and share buttons. According to the report, it's unclear whether the feature is another way for users to monetize their content or if it's only available through Twitter Blue, the platform's subscription service. Aside from that, Twitter may introduce a new feature called Status, which will be visible in a user's profile section. The microblogging site will reportedly include discover and join sections that will inform users about other accounts. According to 9to5Google, Twitter may also add an award feature, but it's currently unclear how this will work. According to the report, users will soon be able to award a tweet, and a gift icon will appear next to that tweet. Furthermore, the microblogging site has recently updated spaces with new features. A host can now see how well their audio sessions are going. Twitter will provide them with analytics on their spaces. This will be available to iOS and Android users alike. It could tell you how many people joined the session and how many times it was replayed. The host will also learn how many people took part in the discussions. Twitter will also begin showing more information about the spaces rather than just the purple card at the top of your timeline. The company has officially announced that it will now display the host's name, the topic being discussed, who has shared a tweet, and other information. Additionally, Twitter is making it easier for participants to find and follow the space's speakers. At the end of each audio session, the company will now display the names of the speakers and hosts. Twitter is also testing a new feature that will allow users to remove at mentions of themselves from any tweets or threads on the platform. The Twitter safety account has officially tweeted about this, stating that this feature will be available to select Twitter web platform users. Even though it has a commanding role in politics and culture around the world, Twitter has only occasionally turned a profit since going public in 2013. The company's announcement on Monday that it had reached an agreement for Tesla CEO Elon Musk to buy it outright raises the question of whether this will result in a more prosperous financial future for Twitter. Musk has downplayed economic motivations for his purchase, saying earlier this month at the TED 2022 conference, this is not a way to make money. It's just that my strong intuitive sense is that having a public platform that is maximally trusted and broadly inclusive is extremely important to the future of civilization. Must continue. Twitter has been listed on the New York Stock Exchange for just under 9 years and has posted a net loss every year except 2018 and 2019, when it made a profit of slightly more than $1 billion. Musk is paying more than $44 billion for the company, which pales in comparison to Facebook's valuation of more than $500 billion. Twitter's revenues are primarily derived from advertising rather than its user base, which is insufficient to cover its expenses. It claimed 217 million monetizable users at the end of last year, who are exposed to advertising on the platform. That is a far cry from the 1.93 billion Facebook users. Even if Twitter's business prospects aren't his primary concern, the world's richest man will want to avoid a loss, especially since a portion of the acquisition could be paid for with his own money. By the way, if you're watching us for the first time, make sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications so you can enjoy our future videos while getting updated. Getting back to the topic. Musk said in a securities filing last week that the deal was backed by a $13 billion debt facility from a financing consortium led by Morgan Stanley, a separate $12.5 billion margin loan from the same bank. 
and 21 billion from his personal fortune. In a tweet, he suggested lowering the price of Twitter Blue, the paid version of the network that costs $2.99 per month, granting paying subscribers a certified account and removing advertising for these customers. He later retracted the message. Another option available to Musk is to reduce the workforce, which may align with his desire to reduce content moderation on the platform. Twitter, based in San Francisco, employed 7,500 people worldwide by the end of 2021. According to a New York University Business School study, it also had around 1,500 moderators worldwide as of 2020. Musk may also be looking to increase user growth and thus advertising revenue, or to introduce new paid features to the platform. He's got his own strategy in place. That could work if he can maintain a model with a subscription-based offer alongside free options, CFRA analyst Angelino Zeno stated. According to Zeno, Musk may eventually collaborate with other investors rather than committing his fortune alone. If he brings other great minds on the equity side of things, he may have a better chance of success, he said. While some have expressed concern about the change in ownership of Twitter, others have expressed confidence in Musk's leadership, stating that he is capable of steering a company through difficult times. Now, Alphabet Incorporated CEO Sandar Pichai has shared his thoughts on what he wants Twitter to be under the boring company CEO's leadership. In an interview with CNBC, Pichai stated that the microblogging platform Twitter played an important role in a democratic society and that he would like to see the product improve. Also, Google will remove nearly 900,000 abandoned apps from the Play Store, report. I'm an avid Twitter user. I believe it is an extremely important product for the world. I've learned a lot from it, and I believe there is a long-term value in investing in it. That, I believe, is significant because it plays an important role in democratic society. I'd like to see the product improve further," Pichai said in the interview. Notably, Pichai is not the only tech executive who has expressed his thoughts on SpaceX CEO Elon Musk's acquisition of Twitter. Microsoft co-founder Bill Gates recently expressed concern about how the microblogging platform would change under Musk's leadership. While the Tesla CEO had a mind-blowing track record at other companies, Gates was skeptical that Musk could do it again. I kind of doubt that will happen this time, but we should keep an open mind and never underestimate Elon. He said earlier this month on the sidelines of the Wall Street Journal CEO Summit. Amazon CEO Jeff Bezos, on the other hand, praised Musk for being extremely good at dealing with difficult situations. Twitter is developing this feature for its Android version to allow users to copy tweets from tweet features. Users can copy and share whatever they want on the platform. Twitter has announced that it is working on an edit feature that will allow users to edit messages after they have been sent. In the coming months, the company will begin testing this within Twitter Blue Labs. The microblogging platform is developing a feature that will allow multiple users to co-author tweets. The feature becomes active only after one user accepts the request to collaborate with the other user. However, it is not expected to be released anytime soon. Users will be able to find specific messages using keywords and names by using the search bar in their Twitter inbox. The feature is now available to all users. According to the report, a new field for users to list their pronouns is also being developed. Many Twitter users already include their pronouns in their display name, bio, or other profile fields. These features are still in testing, so it's unclear when they'll be made public. And with that being said, it's time to end our video. Which of these features are you excited about? Let us know in the comments. Like this video and make sure to subscribe to the channel for more amazing videos like this. We'll see you in the